In this guide, I'll show you how to set up your Google TV streamer step by step. So in the box, you'll get your voice remote as well as batteries, which you'll have to place into the remote, as well as your Google TV streaming device. So if you take a look on the side, you'll see an HDMI port, as well as an Ethernet port, a power port, and a find your remote button. So if you press that button, your remote will beep so you can find it. So you also get your power adapter with a USB-A to USB-C cable. So you want to plug the USB-A end into the power adapter. You want to plug that into the wall. And then you'll get the USB-C end, which you'll want to plug into your Google TV streamer. So now all you have to do is grab an HDMI cable. If you have the 4K version, make sure it's 4K compatible. And then you want to plug the end into your TV. So once everything's plugged in, it should bring you to this pairing section with your remote. If it doesn't, make sure your TV is on the correct input and make sure your batteries are actually in your remote. So go ahead and press the home button as well as the back button on your remote and it should begin pairing to your Google streamer. So after a few seconds, you should see the light on the bottom of your remote flash white indicating it's pairing. As well as on your screen, you should get that check mark indicating it's connected. So now you're going to select the language that you want to use on your device. So use the middle button on your remote at the top and you want to go ahead and select your language. So once you've done this, you now have the option of setting up your TV with the Google Home app. You can simply scan that QR code if you'd like. I'm going to go to set up TV instead at the bottom. So you're going to go ahead and select the Wi-Fi you're going to be using with your Google TV streamer and enter in your password. Now, once you're connected, you're likely going to have to wait for your Google TV streamer to install some updates. So just wait for that process to finish. Then it's going to ask you to create a Google account or sign in with your Gmail. So go ahead and sign into your account. Then it's going to ask you to agree to their terms and you have to press accept if you want to use this device. Now continue following the prompts on screen until you get to choose your services. And from here, you can select your favorite streaming services so you'll be able to easily access them once we're done with the setup. Now, don't worry if you haven't selected something that you want, just confirm it. You'll always be able to customize it later. Then it's going to ask you to set up your Google TV streamers remote. So we're gonna to go to setup. And from here, you wanna select the device you're using for sound. Now, once you've done that, you wanna go ahead and select your TV or sound bar from these options. And once you do this, it's going to bring you to a section where you're gonna test out your sound. So you should be able to hear music from your device. If you do, that's great. What we're going to do is test out the remote by turning the volume up and down just to ensure that it's working properly. And if you hear it, you want to press yes at the bottom just to let it know that it's working. And then you want to press next to complete the power button setup. Now, when you do this, you just want to follow the prompts on screen to ensure it's working. And then once you're finished with this process, you just want to wait for your TV to finish with the setup. Then it's going to ask you if you want to set up multiple profiles or kids features. You can do that if you'd like. I'm just going to go to the Google TV streamer and you should now be able to watch anything on your device. And if you scroll down a little bit, you'll be able to see your apps that you selected and you can always add more apps on the right. If this guide was helpful, like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.